It's Friday the 13th and in Port Dover. That means thousands of motorcycle riders gather at the small beachfront town along Lake Erie. Being in the middle of a pandemic with restrictions didn't stop crowds from attending. Sean Cowan is live with more. Sean. Nicole, that's right. Thousands of people down here in Port Dover and we are in the middle of a pandemic. Phase three allows for a hundred people. That's right. A hundred people at an outdoor event. But I did just speak with the mayor and she tells me technically this is not an outdoor event. It's just a gathering of a lot of people. So last check with the OPP between 40 and 45,000 people have come to Port Dover today. There are lots of bikes parked up and down the streets. A lot of people out walking around. The patios are open. The stores are open. People are gathering at the beach at the beach. But there are some differences uh, this year between 40 and 45,000 people in a normal year around 100,000 people. But the mayor also told me that even uh, some busy years they could see over 200,000 people. But outside right now there are no street vendors along the street. There's no live music and there's no beer tent. So I spoke with some people and they said they are just making do. What's different for you this year than years past with Friday the 13th? Um, it's not as, uh, there's not much of a show, it, it, you know, they blocked off the main street so they're, they're, the bikes would normally line up the main street and people, it would be nice to look at all the bikes that way, but they blocked, they blocked it off to uh, cars and bikes. And as a cottage owner, do you welcome Friday the 13th? Even during, Absolutely. Even during a pandemic? Absolutely. No, I, everybody's being respectful. We're wearing masks when we should, we're distancing when we should. And I'm double vaxxed, so I feel like, okay, I'm double vaxxed, let's get on with stuff. I wish we had more like services like the beer tent, more restaurants on the streets. It seems like everybody's leaving right now, and it, it's just kind of, it's a half-day thing. My brother, my girlfriend, and my friend, life goes on, man. It's over it every year. <laughs> That's it. And a little different, so no street vendors, no music. Yeah, it's unfortunate, right? I mean, the town's the only one that's going to suffer from that. But, you know, we'll make do with what we got. And gathering uh, between 40 and 45,000 people in the small town of Port Dover doesn't come without incidents. I did speak with uh, OPP media relations officer, he, officer, and he tells me there have been four crashes in Haldeman County today alone, three involving motorcycles, and unfortunately, one was fatal.